How are you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 at Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase of this 2020 Dodge Durango. So what we're taking a look at today is this 2020 Dodge Durango for the Pompton Lakes Police Department. Uh, this is one of five new vehicles for them. As you can see, this vehicle is in a slick top configuration. This is one of two for the traffic department. So starting up top, um, we have our interior Enforce light bar in dual color with the white override. We have two M powers in the grill with white override. And then we have two M powers on our intersection bracket with white override also helps give them intersection warning. One thing about the vehicle is this vehicle has the Blueprint Multiplex electrical system, has the Link OBD2 reader, and then it has the sync vehicle, the vehicle sync. So all of the flash patterns will be synced on scene and responding to help reduce distracted driving and improve officer safety. Side, you can see that this vehicle matches one of their other vehicles that we did for them. That's the rooftop mounted light bar style. Um, we've color matched the graphics to the vehicle to give it more of a stealth appearance. Under the mirror, we have the intersector under mirror light in dual color. We have our door override feature. We've tinted the windows on the vehicle. Taking a look at the back, up top we have the sound off signal interior light bar. This is in dual color with the amber override feature. Uh, we've rewired the parking lights into the blueprint system. We've gone in, replaced the reverse light bulbs with LED replacement bulbs and tied them into blueprint. That way we have flashing capability to give them additional warning in the rear without modifying the vehicle housing, um, re not requiring any warranty voidness. So taking a look at the hatch, we have our hatch open. It's controlled by the, the Link OBD2 reader. You can see we've shut off our rear interior light bar to help reduce any flashback. We've shut our rear flashing lights off so they're not shining up into the sky. We've activated our rear warning M powers and then our 12 inch strip light to give them scene lighting. We have a weapons drawer for them. And then we have additional storage underneath with electrical access for us. We have our blueprint controller and our fuses, which are all labeled nicely. And then we have our radio chassis tucked up underneath for easy serviceability. We add is the prisoner containment system on the vehicle. Uh, we have a Centina single cell partition. We have our rear replacement seat with our center out seat belt, which means that the seat belt comes from the inside of the vehicle to the out, which is reversed from traditional and gives them the latch at the rear of the vehicle. Uh, we've done Centina replacement door panels to cover up the factory latches and to keep the prisoner containment secure. And then on the driver's side, uh, we've mounted their flashlight charger, their e-ticket printer, and a single weapons lock to the partition to give them access to their rifle. So what we're taking a look at is the console. We have a Havis Dodge Durango replacement. We have our blueprint controller along with our radios and our uh, L3 camera system. Um, we have our L3 camera screen mounted up top. You can see we have our interior light bar and our radar installed. We have our hint mounts, laptop mount, which bolts up nicely and gives them plenty of room if they're gonna have a second passenger in the vehicle. So now what we're taking a look at is the vehicles in drive response mode. As you can see, we've added flashing white to the intersectors, the light bar, the grill lights, and our front license plate bracket. This gives them additional uh, warning when responding to a scene and takes the flashing white out when you're on scene that can sometimes be a little bit more distracting. Um, We've also changed the pattern up a little bit, made it a little bit more aggressive. And then this automatically goes into uh, the different pattern once the vehicle is put into park. So it reduces any type of need to press any additional buttons. If you have any questions about this vehicle or any other vehicles that we've built, we'd love to help you with your next project. Please feel free to reach out to us via email, our website, our social media platforms, or give us a call.